Welcome. It's Melanie's Monday on the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. Join us. <laughs> Sending healing, light, and love to all of my listeners. So, I was, um, I just did a co-host with the Prince of Pain Pop Radio Worldwide with Miss Mida. So, make sure to check that out. <laughs> and thanks to Pop for having me as his special co-host for his special guest. Now, I want to, um, this particular segment is going to be about awareness. I'm going to give you all a um, synopsis of an incident that I had last week, last Monday, coming from the radio show in the Uber. I took an Uber pool home and um, the driver was driving past my house. Okay, I'm telling this man that this is not the direction to my house. At first, he was corresponding with me, and he's, oh, no, this is not the way, this is not the way to your house. I'm saying, no, this is not the way to my house. He's pointing at his phone, um, basically uh, motioning toward the GPS system, like he's following the GPS system. We ended up all the way at the, sky, the uh, Skyway, going to Indiana. Um... After he started to ignore me as I kept telling him that this is not the way to my house and you have, we actually were nowhere near my house at that point, um, I ended up calling uh, my significant other and had him on the phone with me doing this process. Um, so we pulled up at the Skyway toll booth. Thankfully, he happened to drive in the lane with the only toll operator who was out that night. His car was not swiping to go through. So in my mind, I'm calm, but in my mind, I'm like, I know this is not going to be one of those taking moments. I've heard of certain little incidents, what's going on. So now my CSI Miami kicks in. You're at the toll booth. There is a camera dead in the middle of your windshield to look into your car. So at this point, I have moved toward the middle of the car because I want the camera to see my exact face uh, just in case anything happens to me. But at this point, I'm just feeling like I can't let you take me across the border of Chicago. So while he was constantly swiping his car and it was not going through, it prompted the toll operator to stick her head out to try to inquire as far as the problem. When she did that, I took that as my opportunity to say something. So I told her that this is an Uber driver. I had been telling him that this is not the way to my house. I told this lady where I stay at. <laughs> and I'm like, this is not. I'm constantly telling him this is not. And now he's trying to take me into Indiana. I asked her if I could get out of the car and stay with her. Um, I don't know the ladies, young lady's name. Uh, she's a chocolate, melanated pretty girl. About 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. Uh, of course, she was bundled up. It was cold out there. She has a small um, nose ring in her nose. But Shy Love, salute to you. They say that there's no love in the city and some love was shown to me that night. She felt like I was unsafe. I'm telling her this is an Uber, uh, Uber, Uber ride gone wrong. And she allowed me to get out of um, the car and stay with her. And she uh, contacted her supervisors and co-workers who then placed me in an empty booth to wait for the police. And at that point, Officer Williams, who is stationed for the Skyway toll, came and picked me up and took me to a safe area until I could get home. So Shyla salute to the tollway operator at the Skyway. It was about, um, I want to say somewhere between 8, 30, 9 o'clock or whatever at the time. Um, and to Officer Williams of the Skyway Patrol. So there is definitely love here in the city. And it came uh, at the most, at the greatest time for me. We are going to uh, go off into... Um, survival tips and stuff for these type of situations and just the fact that I had to 
start to look up survival tips in the event of somebody getting kidnapped. And then you look at how many young ladies, especially in Chicago, that have been coming up missing. This is a topic that needs to be, um, that everyone needs to be aware of and um, just prepare for in the event of. So um, we will definitely be going deeper into how to survive potential kidnappers. Uh, I'll give you one first tip they said. Within the first few seconds, fight for your life. Fight with everything that you have. Dirty fight, the gouge the eyes, the throat, so forth. As I was sitting in the back of that man's car and I'm like, okay, if this car goes through and he takes me over the border, <laughs> I'm going to make this man have a crash. At this time, I'm thinking, I don't have anything on me. So now I have to be creative, and I'm thinking, I'm going to take the strap of my purse and loop it around his neck from the back and take my keys and stop because I'm not, you're not going to have anybody go home and tell my kids that their mother isn't coming home. So at that point, it was going to be either me or him. Uber did not take it seriously at first, and once I had to express my dissatisfaction, they ended up giving me a full refund. Even I had them investigated with the, their critical response uh, safety team. They said that uh, he came out clear and that he didn't do anything wrong. They're trying to blame it on the GPS system and that's what led him there. And I do understand that the GPS system does have glitches. But if the person who, the person knows where they live better than the GPS system. And if someone is telling you, I don't live this way, you're taking me the wrong way. You don't just start to ignore a person and keep driving. The whole situation could have just went a, a totally different way. I could have not remained calm and just start attacking him right then and there as soon as he turned his head and kept driving. And then he would have felt like, oh, well, I was just trying to follow the GPS and she attacked me. But I'm telling you, I don't stay this way. And I'm repeating myself. So luckily I had somebody on the phone with me who could, you know, be a witness and you would think like with these uber situations when you order an uber they give you a picture of the person the person's name the description of the car and the license plate number and yet we have incidents with uber drivers who are uh pulling over taking them past their route um I heard of an incident where a little young girl was um getting molested well a, a attempt molestation and she ended up fighting her way out and a stranger gave her the, his um, phone so that she can call her parents. So the fact that a person is recorded, their vital information is, you know, they can be tracked down by the police. It still is not stopping certain people from feeling like they're going to do whatever it is that they have to do. So in that case, we as residents of Chicago here have to protect ourselves by any means necessary. Um, I have a few items here that you can use. Um, pepper spray. You know, the, the brass knuckles are uh, illegal, but these, these knuckles, these are legal. If you go on Amazon, you know in the little movies, when you can take this and wrap it around a person's throat. A survival knife. We can play with some, we don't want to play with knives, but I'm just saying. <laughs> don't force a person to use it, okay? We should not have to walk around <laughs> with so many weapons to try to protect ourselves and we're only trying to get from point A to point B to conduct driver. business with an Uber driver. You thought that taking Ubers would be better now because back in the day with the cabs, they didn't have any real records of these people that you were getting up in the car with. Now they have everything that they're giving you and yet some of the people still feel like they're going to take a chance with somebody else's life. So in that case, I would tell you, you know, if you did have an incident with any Uber or Lyft people, I heard about an incident in Houston with a woman with a Lyft. And what tweaked me out was that her story was actually similar to mine about how she was telling this man she don't live this way and he was ignoring her and doing what he wanted to do.
But in her case, she, you know, hers went a little bit further. So I'm very grateful for Mama Daddy God because he kept um, swiping their car and it would not go through. His car did not go through until after I got out of the car. So I got to thank Mama Daddy God, the spiritual realm, the universe, whoever it is that she is. I have to thank my support system. Uh, my partner and my sisters that I call on the phone and they stayed on the phone with me, you know, afterwards making sure that I was okay. And of course, that toll operator at the Skyway and Officer Williams. Thank you very much for your time. You didn't know me. Um, you putting me in the booth could have been a violation of your uh, job requirements and out of safety you still looked out for me and I appreciate you very much Shalom, salute there is love in the city of Chicago so we're going to take a very quick break here on Melanie's Monday the Shy Love Radio Show Pop Radio Worldwide iHeartRadio on Spotify We'll be back in the moment. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Whipping up a pop, pop. Show you how to get it off. I don't merely rock, rock. I just get the brick across. Take you to the block, block. My shorties know I've been a boss, been a boss. Welcome back to Melanie's Monday. It's the Shy Love Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. I was just telling you all about my Uber incident last Monday after uh, after the uh, Shy Love Radio Show that I taped. I want everyone to focus on being safe. Don't walk in fear, but be aware. Speak up. Protect yourself. Um, we will speak about this more in depth, uh, but right now um, I would like to tell you all about the Thanksgiving. Since Thanksgiving is coming uh, coming up, the power of the law. The power law firm is having a 500 Thanksgiving turkey giveaway, November 20th, from 5 to 8 p.m. 6330 South Stony Island. Again, that's November 20th, 5 to 8 p.m. 6330 South Stony Island. That's at the, YMCA. the YMCA, that's right on the corner. They are giving away 500 Thanksgiving turkeys. Uh, you will receive a turkey and a tote bag. So make sure. This Wednesday, November 20th, from 5 to 8 p.m., 6330 South Stony Island. Go and get you a turkey for your family and a tote bag. You can always use extra food. <laughs> and again, I would like to uh, give a special shout out salute to the tollway operator at the Skyway Toll Booth and Officer Williams of the Skyway Toll Booth Patrol for stepping in and assisting that night with the suspicious Uber driver. Um, thank you all very much. <laughs> there is love in the shy, and we're not going to allow any of these incidents to make us walk any deeper in fear. But again, as I said, just make sure that you're prepared because you have a purpose here and your life matters as well. Thank you all for tuning in again to Melanie's Monday on the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. Tell me where to go follow you on all social media platforms. You can follow Maybe. me on Facebook, the Melanie Hogan, uh, Instagram, Melanie Hogan 7, Twitter, Melanie Hogan 7, Shy Love, C H I L O V E, one word, one movement, one love. Tell them where we are on YouTube, man. Uh, YouTube, Pop Radio Worldwide, Pop Academy, Baby, Baby, Baby,
had any other special co-hosts, special guests today, Miss Myra Del Valle. Yeah. That's a pretty girl, you know, all need to look into her. And thank you all to all my listeners who were in tune for Melody's Monday on the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, Spotify Premium. It's all love, Shy Love, see you.